this is a Ni Osho, Missouri. Lob truck stop. The truck stop is uh, behind that uh, red and then USA truck. And I park in the corner and there's the interstate over there. I-49. Uh, my loader is still here. Nothing moved. Everything was cool. My blocks are here, so which you know as they say actions speak louder than words. So this was secured properly. The only thing that shifted was the, the bucket. And I had to tighten the chains a couple of times, but then it found its place. See over, the, over here? Like the timber found that place, like, and now it's pulling, pushed against that lip, you know? Which is perfect. But it was not supposed to sit on, over here like this, but I don't want to deal with it. So I got two chains. There was a bunch of water. I went through some heavy rain and I had to scoop out water. Probably, I don't know, maybe 20 gallons, maybe less, maybe 15 gallons. But all in all, the, the machine is behaving. Not shifting, not moving, everything is cool. Yeah, you see, and that's the uh, the killer switch. You gotta know this. See, now it's in zero, so there's no power. If you don't know where this master switch is, master disconnect, you won't, you won't be able to start the, the engine. So it has to be in this position. Turn clockwise. And I like it how they do it like this. It's kind of like an antique old car, right? Some, sometimes you see them on the road where uh, everything is open, like the hood is open. And this uses some massive cat fuel filters. And of course, it's a caterpillar. Certified rebuilt. And you cannot buy them like that anymore, right? And so I've been sitting here since 9.15, but that's Eastern time. Over here it's Central time, so I was here since 8.15. And time now is 12 o'clock, so I've been here four hours. Okay, here's my little gadget over here. And why I was here... Why I'm here four hours? Because I don't know where to go, no. It's because uh, this new Osho, Missouri is right at the bottom uh, near Oklahoma. So this is Highway 49, so from here I'm supposed to go to south on I-49, like another 10 miles probably, and then take uh, US 60 West into Oklahoma. And so yesterday, the main goal of the day was to get, uh, to find a notary, because I, it turns out I was not in the Oklahoma DOT system, right? And so that form you're supposed to fill out as a carrier and my signature has to be notarized. And so I stopped at... Um, very loud over here. I was passing some small town and I saw a post office. So I stopped over there, asked them and they said no, they cannot do it, but... But um, they said there's a bank right where I was trying to get to uh, freeway. She says there's a bank right there. 
and they might have a notary you know one of the uh, officers might be licensed as a notary and I found them on Google Maps and just click on the button call 10 seconds later I was talking to a guy inside the bank and they agreed uh, to give me the, the service even though I'm not I don't have an account with them you know I was sure that they would say no but they said I said I don't have an account I'm sorry I'm from Canada can you help me with this form for Oklahoma DOT and they said yeah sure we can we can help you out and then I said second problem I'm driving a semi truck I'm like 79 and a, and a half feet long do you guys have any parking the guy said, well, just across the street, there's a come-and-go um, gas station with a big parking. I said, cool. And so I went in there, parked, walked across the street to the bank, and it took maybe 10 minutes. The guy notarized everything, two copies of my uh, Canadian passport, my citizenship card, my driver's license. And then I said, how do I pay you? You know? The guy says, oh, it's free. America, Strana Chudes, the country of uh, wonders. So anyway, I send everything to, Oklahoma, to my uh, permitting company and they sent it to Oklahoma DOT and then uh, yesterday in the afternoon I received a confirmation email from Oklahoma saying that now I'm registered, I have an account. And so this morning, I uh, I started in uh, just like 45 miles up the road. Uh, there was a Walmart there. There was a nice little a roadies a roadies truck stop. Uh, what was it called? Lamar. I think it was called Lamar, Missouri. Yeah, uh, just 45 miles north of here. And. I got up at 6 this morning and I emailed right away my permitting company thinking that they will read this while I'm, while I'm driving because I, I researched this before so I knew that I'll be stopping here because I, I cannot go any further. There's no decent truck stops between here and Oklahoma on my route on US 60. Uh, and when I came here I had an email response from the broker she says uh, from the permitting company she says oh, Oklahoma cannot give you 16,000 like I asked they can give you only 15,000 on the steer and I sent her on the day before I sent her the, my updated scale ticket because I did not trust the uh, the right way gauge right I, I actually scaled and I saw that I was I was much lighter right and so I um, Resend the lady copy of that scale ticket. I sent uh, and I said use these weights for Oklahoma and Texas. And she said okay. And that was four hours ago. I just checked with her like half an hour ago. I said any news about any news from Oklahoma land? She says no. It's still pending. Pending means it's still under consideration. She says they will allow 72,000 on the back, but some guy left a comment on my Facebook page. He says, oh, they only allow 65 or 68, so we'll see. Like the worst case scenario is um, they might uh, send it to engineering review, and that means that the permit will take at least three business days to issue, you know? Like my steer axle is fine, my pusher and drives are fine, it's just that I'm a bit heavy on the trailer, right? And uh, that's where, like in this particular situation, that's where a spreader, a spreader bar would help because then my flip axle would be considered a booster or stinger and then they can actually allow me up to 80,000 on the trailer instead of 72 or 68, whatever. So I don't know. The, the stinger might be in my future, but then you saw that Min, uh, Minnesota, Iowa were fine with the flip axle. Missouri allowed me 72, and I'm pretty close. 
and so now we'll see what happens in like I, I mentioned at the beginning of this of this uh, uh, load uh, series of videos that this will be like a testing ground right to see which states over here will allow me full weight on my flip axle and so this is where this is the snag I hit right so first the Missouri was a bit difficult now Oklahoma starts you know with these uh, 15,000 on the steer axle uh, so we'll see what happens and so the goal today is to get the permit and get the heck out of Missouri and enter Oklahoma and I think from here it's about 550 miles to Houston so since now it's already midday here I doubt it I'll make it to the port even if the permit is issued right away I doubt it I will make it to the port by the closing time on Friday so chances are I'll be delivering Monday or even probably Tuesday if the Oklahoma takes a long time but that's okay that's why I wanted to stop at a decent truck stop actually I filled up in here and I used the points that I gained with this fueling. I, I got like 75 gallons it was uh, three dollars and uh, nine cents per gallon and I got a free shower I went and showered so it's cool but that's what I gotta deal with uh, you know sometimes when you have oversized permits and now you can see you can see the trucks stop there in the distance so when this guy passes some tow truck is doing donuts in here look he went through the he went through the pump and then he turned around oh it's because he has a, he probably has a def on the wrong side some of these older trucks like the first generation when the def only became official uh, their tanks were on the wrong side yeah. and so it's pretty hot it's uh, 34 degrees Celsius right now which I think is about over 90 F the sky is blue All I need to get moving is the Oklahoma permit and of course after that I need a Texas permit and then the first uh, goal after I deliver will be will be uh, get a new laptop because I got rid of this laptop Oh, that's a cool truck check this out that's a cool cool looking uh, pita build huge hood looks good so anyway as soon as I get my Oklahoma permit I can start moving but then of course I cannot go too far because then there's Texas and I need my Texas permit but basically it's all uh, waiting game for now uh, I printed out all my paperwork that I need so as soon as I del deliver the load I have my invoice I got my bills of lading I can send uh, right away to my factoring company and get paid on the next day so hopefully, uh, yeah, I'll try to, I'll use a GoPro, I'll make sure it's charged. I'll use the GoPro to show you guys uh, unloading. And then hopefully over the weekend or after I deliver, I'll buy a new laptop. Yeah, going back to the Mac, Mac uh, MacBook Pro with the old fancy specs, you know, uh, that's good for video editing. Uh, because right now I'm using my cell phone to record because then it's easy to upload without editing uh, but if I use a GoPro I'll need a computer to, to create the video so 
uploading from GoPro will be next uh, hopefully so thanks for watching this was a quick update from New Osho, Missouri Captain Sergei out